Thousands of farmers, growers, and marketers from around the country are making their way to Grand Rapids today. And they're coming here for the annual Great Lakes Fruit, Vegetable, and Farm Market Expo. It kicks off at DeVos Place. Well, 24 Hour News Aids Tom Hillen is live in Grand Rapids right now. Not so much to talk about the farmers, but to talk about the money they're going to spend here. Hey, Tom. Well, good morning to you, Brett. That's exactly right. It's not necessarily so much what's going on behind these doors, but more what's going to happen on the streets of Grand Rapids that makes this convention expo such a big deal. About 4,000 people are expected to come down over the next couple of days to attend this expo from all over the country. Then on top of that, you have the exhibitors that are coming in to work at the more than 700 booths that have been set up. This is one of the largest conventions for the city, and that means hundreds of thousands of dollars and in this case, potentially millions of dollars are going to be pumped into our economy here in Grand Rapids. When people come to the expo, they stay at downtown hotels, eat at downtown restaurants, and often shop at local stores. And it's for that reason that right now, Experience Grand Rapids is making a big push to get more organization, more of these conventions, and they want ones that you are a part of. They're looking for your help. They want you to contact them to let them know what conventions and meetings and expos you're a part of that you go to that you would like to see come here to Grand Rapids. The campaign is called Bring It to GR, and they have a whole website set up for it right now, and we provided a link for you. You can find that at woodtv.com, and there you you can go to give them all your ideas. Reporting live in downtown Grand Rapids, Tom Hillen, 24 Hour News 8. Thousands will be coming to Grand Rapids over the next few days for the Great Lakes Fruit, Vegetable, and Farm Market Expo. 24 Hour News 8's Tom Hillen is live at the DeVos Place this morning talking with one business owner about what type of exposure this gives him. Hi, Tom. Well, good morning to you, Amanda. Yes, absolutely. This is a very large expo, so that means big exposure for all the exhibitors that are here. And this morning we are joined by Bob Williamson, and you are from the president of A&B Packing. And yes. talk to us, I mean, you, you go to many expos throughout the area and the country. Talk to us about why Grand Rapids. Well, Grand Rapids is just one of the greatest shows for us because uh, we actually have exposure to uh, customers from around the world actually comes here to this show. So... Uh, rather than us trying to chase people around the Europe and South America and all that, they just show up here. So it's it's been a great opportunity for us. And the city of Grand Rapids has been really great to us. Normally we're in, we have a snowstorm this time of year, but this this year we're actually, <laughs> it's just been beautiful. The weather's been great, and uh, it's it's convenient for people to come here because the parking's great, everything's great for the folks. So it's convenient for them to come here to the trade show. So. We've, we've always considered Grand Rapids as actually our number one uh, best trade show in the world. So, and we do travel the world over, so this has just been great for us. Now talk to me, I mean, obviously your equipment here is very large. So are you very selective about where you go or, or when you travel, are you able to always bring this with you? Absolutely not. We, uh, we're, we're so fortunate here because Grand Rapids is relatively close to where we live and operate out of, which is southwestern Michigan down by Benton Harbor, St. Joe. So it makes it, it gives us a, quite an opportunity here because uh, the trucking cost and everything is quite low. So we only we have, only have to truck this stuff for like 100 miles. And when compared to trucking it all the way to California where you got 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars of moving this equipment out is just so convenient for us to come here and and like I said, Grand Rapids is just a great city and it just brings people in from all around the world. So it gives us a really an opportunity and this is really how we got started right here at the Grand Rapids show. So it really kicked us off about 17 years ago. All right, Bobby, we want to thank you for your time this morning. The expo is going to run through Thursday, unfortunately, not open to the public, but it does have a lot of economic effect for Grand Rapids, and we're going to be taking a look at that coming up in our 6 o'clock hour. Reporting live inside the DeVos, this is Tom Hillen, 24 Hour News 8. The farmers, growers, and marketers from around the country are making their way to Grand Rapids today. They are coming for an annual Great Lakes Fruit, Vegetable, and Farm Market Expo, which kicks off at the DeVos Place. And 24 Hour News 8's Tom Hillen is live in Grand Rapids this morning with not so much about the farmers, but more about their wallets. Hi, Tom. Well, good morning to you, Brett. Yeah, we moved inside the DeVos place here in downtown Grand Rapids. You could tell already this place is packed full of all sorts of farm equipment. They're really ready to kick this thing off. About 4,000 farmers from all over the country will be convening in downtown Grand Rapids starting today and lasting through Thursday. And like you were talking about, the benefits for the city of Grand Rapids itself is really the huge part of this expo. With all those people coming to Grand Rapids, they're staying at our hotels, eating at our restaurants, and of course, 
shopping at our local stores in downtown. And that is why this expo is such a big deal. It's one of the largest ones that the city puts on throughout the year, and it's one that they really rely on coming back. It's held in Grand Rapids pretty much annually at this point. Now, coming up in the next 15 minutes, we're going to be talking with the woman that puts this all together about why they continue to come back here and why they continue to select Grand Rapids. You'll want to stay tuned for that. Reporting live inside DeVos Place, Tom Hillen, 24 Hour News 8. It's one of the largest conventions to come to Grand Rapids every year, the Great Lakes Vegetable, Fruit, and Farm Market Expo. More than 4,000 people are going to be packing DeVos Place today. Mm -hmm. And that's where 24 News 8's Tom Hillen is right now. He joins us now live to talk about why Grand Rapids is a great place to host that event. Hey, Tom. Well, good morning to you guys, Brett and Amanda. Absolutely. This is a massive undertaking to pack this convention center really full of all this farm equipment. And we are joined this morning by Sherry German, and you are the trade show manager. You are the one that really makes this happen, puts this all together. Kind of talk to us about why you continue to come back to Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is a great central event uh, area for um, the farmers to come. It's actually um, a central location for the United States as far as the growers themselves in getting um, them here. And that is naturally what helps to bring the exhibitors. So it just is a, it has been a great venue for us. We've been here for a lot of years. Now talk to me, what do you hear from both the, the people that come to the expo and the people that present here at the expo? What is the feedback that you hear from them? Oh, it's the best they are. Uh, get to attend all year long. We are the probably the largest in the nation and um, they get everything under one roof. The educational sessions that help teach them more um, information about their product that they are producing and getting to talk with all the equipment people and uh, see the latest and greatest. Now this is a pretty massive undertaking, something that you head up. Talk to me about the process of really packing this place full year after year and really when it all starts for you. It starts for me about April, uh, so it's about a 10 month um proposition for me each year. I've been doing it for a lot of years and um, I get almost all the same exhibitors back but we're growing also each year and a lot of the best ambassadors are the um, exhibitors themselves as they go to other trade shows saying you should be at the Michigan show. So it is really um, it's helping to grow it and each year we're enlarging. We haven't had a year going back. All right, Sherry German, the uh, trade show manager, we want to thank you for your time this morning. Obviously, all these people coming into the city has a huge impact economically as well. So coming up in our next half hour, we're talking with someone from Experience Grand Rapids about what sort of impact this does have on Grand Rapids. Reporting live from inside DeVos Place, Tom Hillen, 24-Hour News 8. Thousands will be coming to Grand Rapids over the next few days for the Great Lakes Fruit, Vegetable, and Farm Market Expo. And the event's expected to bring a whole lot of revenue mm -hmm. into West Michigan. So let's check in with Tom Hillen right now. He's at DeVos Place again with more on what's happening today. Hi, Tom. Well, good morning to you guys, Brett and Amanda. You're absolutely right. We This is going to be a massive convention for the city of Grand Rapids, really one of the largest that we host. And this morning we're joined by Sherry German, the trade show manager here, and really talk to me about getting so many people to commit and come to Grand Rapids. How do you do that? Well, as far as the trade show, which is what I handle, um, I just start working with people about 10 months in advance, and a lot of people have exhibited here previously, or by word of mouth have heard it's the best show in the country to come to. And we have a wonderful facility. It's so large and state-of-the-art that it, um, they're, they're very happy to come. And talk to me about, you've been doing this for a number of years. How have things either changed or is it pretty consistent from year to year? What do you hear from the people that have been here in the past? Mm -hmm. Our show is growing every year. Um, and, that, and that is what we're hearing, that some of the other shows in the horticulture and the, in the um, produce industry have declined. But for some reason, um, ours has been the show to come to. Um, we have wonderful educational sessions that go along with uh, different commodities, along with our equipment in here. So it's kind of a one-stop shopping for the growers. So they just come from all over the United States. All right, Sherry German, the trade show manager here. We want to thank you for your time this morning. And like she said, there's going to be thousands of people here, and they will be... You'll see them throughout Grand Rapids the next couple of days. Now, it's not open to the public, but we will definitely feel the effects of having all these people in our city because they'll be here staying at our hotels and shopping in our shops and eating at our restaurants. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Tom Hillen, 24-Hour News 8.